There's a lot of intelligent design features that have been very thoughtfully uh, placed into the system, specifically some of the intelligent design features by purposely making a smaller catheter with a 3.5 millimeter outer diameter, we're able to get further out into lungs without having to use brute force methods. Shape sensing technology is a, a really novel feature. So much of navigation bronchoscopy and guided bronchoscopy to date has been guided by electromagnetic navigation, uh, which we know has some inherent errors. Uh, with the shape sensing technology, with the fiber that's built into the catheter, it really allows us to know where we're at in three dimensions at all times during our case. Once we get to the target, it's completely stable, so you can let your hands off of it, you can get your biopsy tools, do whatever you need to do, and it's rock solid stable, it's not going anywhere. Even if you were to move it, or if there's deflection with the tool, the shape sensing technology allows it to go back in the exact same position that it was before. We have biopsy markers that will leave a biopsy marker here, and so even if there is any movement, if I decide to do a cloud biopsy feature, so when I start there, I'll use my radial probe, a biopsy in the center first, and then after we do that, we can do a cloud biopsy where we go to each quadrant, and each time we can mark our position and move around the lesion if we need to. Additionally, the manual features of how to drive the scope are very intuitive. Very simple tools. You don't have to learn how to use a, uh, a video game or anything like that. It's really just very natural movements with your hands to guide the catheter in any position that you want.